Well, hello viewers. Uh, this is my desktop review of the Arsenal SLR 106 UR pistol. Um, this is actually this is a 556 or 223 chambered AK pistol, and I uh, just want to go over uh, go over a couple things with you. Really a cool gun and uh, a great candidate for an SBR conversion or a pistol brace conversion. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll go ahead and uh, go over the gun from from muzzle to to uh, pistol grip. First thing we're going to do is make sure that the gun is unloaded. As you can see in the chamber, it is unloaded. Magazine is empty. So let's go ahead and begin. So um, first things first. This is um, <clears throat> of course the ubiquitous AK platform, and I'm going to do some. Uh, Come up here in the next uh, little bit. I'm going to do several AK videos just because it's something that I, I, uh, I, I years ago I was into AKs a lot. I have kind of gotten away from it a little bit, and there's some really interesting AK variants on the market these days. So I wanted to go over them with you. The one thing I can always say about an AK, you know, fantastic reliability, just drop dead simple, and um, so a lot of really cool things with AKs. If you are considering getting into, um, you know, those uh, those those types of sporting rifles, uh, and your budget is maybe a little bit limited, although the price of ARs have come way down, um, the AK is a great alternative. It's uh, it shoots a, a cool caliber, great great uh, learning tool. So, let's go ahead and get started on the review. So, first things first on this gun, <clears throat> as I said, it's chambered in 223. Uh, it is based on the crink um, style gas system and um, top cover and piston. The one big difference on this one is, as you can see right here, the barrel goes all the way through to the end. This is actually a faux booster. So on the real Krinkov or the Suchka, uh, the barrel would end actually right about here. And then this was uh, uh, what they call a back pressure booster that aided, uh, aided the gun uh, with enough gas to move the gas piston. A big part of it was because as the bullet left the barrel, there was still a ton of unburned powder. And this gave the powder an opportunity to burn in this combustion chamber and provide enough back pressure for the gun to work properly. This particular rifle doesn't have that problem. Um, the barrel length on this one, I believe, is ten in, is a ten inch barrel, but it goes right to the end. And in the two two three, you don't have that problem in this length of a barrel with that uh, with the under combustion. So they just put the barrel all the way out there to the end. Uh, so kind of a neat design. Still looks has that cool crink look, but uh, this is just just for looks. Um, front sight on it, <clears throat> pretty simple, typical AK. Nothing fancy. Does have a hooded front sight though. Um, the rear sight on these guns is really neat, and I'll try and let me see if I can get this as close to you guys as I can. So the rear sight is a notch style rear sight, as you can see it right there. But there are two settings. So this is the close up setting, right here, and then you flip it backwards, and that will be the uh, I believe the four five. So uh, a little optimistic there, but it, uh, technically the first one would be the 100-200 meter sight, and the second one would be out to 400-500 meters. Although this gun, I think, is a little wishful thinking to go all the way out to 400-500 meters. Uh, one big difference in these variants um, versus a regular AK is the fact that this top cover is hinged, and it has a spring on it. So when you release it, it'll pop up, and it will you won't lose it in the dirt or anything like that. Uh, charging handle on an AK is always on the right hand side and uh, very nice smooth action from Arsenal. Um, the uh, safety lever, uh, safe and fire right here, uh, it also acts as the dust cover so when you've got that in the safe position which is where it is right now it also covers up most of the action. Uh, this particular gun is what they call a stamped receiver gun. It's a piece of one millimeter sheet metal that is folded into the uh, shape of the receiver. And then, of course, everything is bolted up to it. The gun comes with a little 10 round, or maybe it's a five round magazine. I don't know. I haven't even taken it out of the box. I did order some of these Circle 10 uh, uh, clear uh, polymer mags to go with it. Very, very cool. Uh, and I think uh, aesthetically it looks very nice. AK, obviously, you're going to insert the, 
leading edge into the gun and then it just clicks right in. Um, so kind of cool looking. Nice magazines, high quality. Um, they uh, lock up nice and tight, hardly any movement whatsoever in there once they're in the gun. Um, <clears throat> so this is a, uh, this gun, uh, this particular gun is made in Bulgaria. It's a Bulgarian uh, variant of the uh, of the uh, AK and it is probably the nicest quality AK made. Arsenal uh, builds a phenomenal quality AK and I'm also going to do a uh, review of the uh, this is the 106 which is uh, chambered in in 5.56223 I also have a 107 which is chambered in the traditional 7.62 by 39 and we're going to do a, a review on that gun as well a um, couple other things about this gun, uh, it does have the uh, optics rail mount right here. So you can buy a, uh, uh, an over the receiver uh, flat top optics rail that's going to click onto that. Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and order one for this. Uh, more importantly though, so as you can see on the back plate, it does have a, hin a semi, it has the trunnion for a hinged uh, uh, buttstock although that is not installed. So um, I'm actually going to be sending this off to a local gunsmith and have him put a, um, a uh, AR uh, buffer tube uh, adapter on there so that I can, I can make, uh, put the uh, SIG uh, MPX pistol brace on there, uh, at least for the time being, until I decide whether or not uh, I want to SBR the gun or if I'm just going to leave it as a pistol. Um, so uh, other than that though, pretty simple controls on this gun. You've got the uh, magazine release down here, trigger, and the fire safety um, lever. Those are really the only controls on an AK. Charging handle, and that's about it. Um, a couple of things, I, there's a ton of videos online on YouTube about what to look for um, on an AK when you're buying one. There are AKs of every conceivable price range um, and uh, just a couple of things I'll point out to you if you've never purchased one before um, some of the things to look for so I'm I'm a bit of a purist I prefer the stamped receivers I, I please don't ask why I, I, don't, I couldn't give you an answer I just that's the way Kalashnikov designed them and I kind of like them like that the newer milled ones are, are pretty neat um, but they tend to be a little bit heavier uh, than the stamped ones and um, just the aesthetics I think for me, I just you know, I just kind of like the the rivets and whatnot that are in the uh, in the uh, stamped one. Um, the biggest thing to look for, though, uh, when you pick up an AK anywhere, and I don't care what manufacturer it is, or or um, uh, or you know whether it's new or used or whatever, but a couple of things for you to look for uh, when you pick up an, up an AK. Number one is making sure that this part of the gun is square. Um, what happens on these guns, there's a, there's basically there's two trunnions on this gun. The front trunnion holds the barrel assembly and all that good stuff in. If you do not do it right, and by right I mean if you don't have somebody that knows what they're doing and, they can, and they're under, not under the conditions where they can do it to a high quality, um, they can get that slightly off. In which case no amount of squaring away on the front will ever get it straight. And what will happen is when you, when you take a look down the top of the gun, and actually the best way to actually look at it, and I hate to do this, but we're on camera so you're, you're safe, but the best way to do it is actually look at it from this angle. Um, if you look down the front of the gun and everything doesn't line up properly, um, go ahead and try and get you another one. Um, this one here is nice and straight. It's square. Arsenal is very good about... about um, about their quality control and it's very high grade. Um, the, you know, the lower price you go, the more likely it is you're going to find one that's kind of goofy. Um, so just be aware of that. Um, the second thing is <clears throat> if that's not square, then oftentimes the gas tube and the gas piston are not square. So if they're, if they're not matched up there, um, then again, uh, you'll run into issues. One of the easiest ways to check is just to grab the charging handle and pull it back about an inch or two right there. See how nice and smooth that is? Um, there are some very inexpensive guns where that first two inches feels gritty and hard and what it is is it's the the piston up here dragging on the inside of the gas tube because it's not square. 
Um, so what I would recommend is just peel that first couple inches. If it's nice and smooth and no, there's no binding or anything like that, then you probably got a good one. Square front sight, no problem with that. The rest is pretty robust. Um, these guns are these guns are really really simple, um, but they can be a little finicky to get them fettled right. Um, you know, once they're set up right, they'll run forever. It is really tough to break one, but initially, right out of the box, just make sure you've got those things set up right, and it'll be good to go. Uh, next time you see this gun, it'll probably have the uh, the uh, buffer tube and and pistol brace on there. And uh, so I'll probably do a part two of this one also uh, once I get it to the range and, and put a few hundred rounds through it and see what my initial uh, shooting impressions are. Anyway, uh, if you enjoyed the video and have any questions about the gun, please let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't for forget to subscribe to us. We're going to be doing a whole bunch more uh, videos coming up here and I got some really cool stuff in the, in the works. So I uh, look forward to seeing you then. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.